<laughs> um, let me dress. Last week, I hit 100 subscribers. So I decided to do 100 houses for my 100 subscribers. Um, I kind of regret it. It was a lot of work, but here it is. I started off by looking for an area to start our little community. And I found this grass area, but first I had to clear it out. And by that, I mean... So, started to light up the place with torches and fix this little bridge um, to connect, you know, the places. I started by doing a pathway from the bridge to the beginning of the house, I mean, of the community. And then I added some fences because we're bougie like that and we don't want any intruders coming into our property. You know, hippity hoppity, get off my property vibes. It's what it looks like in the end. Pretty cool. Then I started deforesting more of the area because deforestation, for our own sake, is a yes for me. I started with my first house, which was a clay house. But then I decided to start on a second house in the middle of building my first house. But then I decided to start working on a fourth, I mean, on a third house instead of finishing my first and second house. And then I decided to start working on a fourth house instead of finishing my first, second, or third house. I don't know why. But here's the first house finished. It was actually technically the fourth house. Um, it looks pretty cool. And really? Okay, here's it all fixed. First house done. Ready to go. 99 more to finish. <laughs> so then I continued by finishing off the other houses I hadn't finished. And then I ended up adding two more houses there. And it was it was pretty fun. Don't ever PvP a skeleton with a torch, you will lose. Here are the first eight houses done, um, but then I got tired of making them so cool, so I started to just not make cool roofs. And yeah, so this is just like another house. Also, you guys wanna know what happened to me? This is what happened to me. I started doing teleportation, and at this point I typed the chords wrong. So I spawned underwater, I mean underground. And you see, I had a diamond pickaxe, but I freaked out, and I exited out of the game. So guess what happened when I got back? Guess what happened when I got back? Yup. I died. But because of the recording, I was able to look back on the cores and save myself and get all my stuff. If I wasn't recording a video, I probably would have given up and never played this game ever again. Day three, four, I don't even know. This is a different day. And I started off by making even smaller houses because I was tired of making these big, huge houses. And I was never gonna finish this video if I kept making them five, um, six by six. So I think I started making them four by five or something like that. I don't know, they're just ex extremely small. So deal with it. Next, I decided that I would go to the nether to get some bricks some really cool some really cool blocks and here is my speed running of the nether piddle yeah this is a two times speed because if i leave it in normal um this video will be way too long so this isn't even speed running at this point it's it's walking i'm walking i'm walking to the nether it's not that hard this yeah it's not. I've seen so many speedrunning videos and I'm still this slow. Oh my god. And I eventually finished it and I went to the nether for like 45 minutes and I got a bunch of cool stuff. At this point, I thought it is not going to be possible for me to make 100 houses with 100 different um, blocks. In the amount of time i have to post this video so i just decided to mass build houses with different blocks and different mixtures of blocks so i could get this done at this point i think i had somewhere between 26 and 30 houses done i decided that i would just start mass building cobblestone houses because i have lots of cobblestone and no and i, I don't know how to use it so head empty, only cobble. Now the rest of the houses are just gonna be pure cobblestone, okay? I 
here I think I had somewhere between 40 and 50 houses. It's starting to look pretty cool. Also, this is me counting again, so the clip is really long because I cannot count. Um, I I never explained this earlier, but I'm doing little pathway like a pavement, like pa uh, it's paved with memories of a fast life I lived when I was 18. This is the 100th house being built in front of your eyes. Boom! <laughs> there we go! 100 houses done after I think 5 days and like 10 hours of this stupid game. Um, the only thing left to do was to- oh, Kermit, oh my god. The only thing left to do was to decorate and then yeah, so that was basically it. Here's the tour you've all been waiting for. Given exclusively by Vector from Despicable Me, your favorite character. Mm-hmm. So first what you do is you get on this little minecart and you ride your way into the entrance because we do not have to walk here. We're too rich to walk. <laughs> Why would you walk? Seriously. Here are the first eight houses, which I think are pretty cool. They're probably my favorite because they're the biggest and um, they're the that's that's it they're just they have the more thought done into them and then here's the rest of the the row i'm going to speed it up because it's really long a two times speed so uh i don't know how to do commentary but this is what it looks like um i don't want to make it any faster oh hi vector uh, here's the interior of some of the houses which i think are cool this one is probably my favorite it's very nice this one is pretty fire <laughs> do you get it because it, it's fire like the, the painting is fine um this next one i think the aesthetics pretty cool the vibes are pretty nice and yeah this one has a boat in it which means you spin me right around baby like right around like a record baby the next row is pretty cool too um it has flowers and everything i'm gonna speed it up again so you can see it faster but not at grandma speed and yeah, it was pretty cool. The third row is over here. And we have a little pond with two salmons. Uh, maybe name them. They're, they're, they're dating, by the way. It's so cute. Um, I'm going to speed it up again. Or else uh, this is going to take so long. So there it is. Vector just jumping through the fields. Um, the fourth. Is this the fourth? I don't know. This is the fourth row. On this row, I decided to, do, to go back to the double house thing. And yeah, speeding up again. This is the final row. It's more like of an area for beach. I wanted to do a beachy thing, but I was not going to destroy every single dirt block and replace it with sand. So we're pretending, we're using our imagination, kids. And yeah, those are the 100 houses. I also added like a little farm here. I took the wheats because I needed bread to eat. And the last thing I added was this little... Oh, there's a dog there. <laughs> I got distracted. Uh, I added this little area for fishing. And the chest has two fishing rods and some eggs. I threw an egg just because I was like, you know what? What if, uh, what if a chicken hatches? And now we have two chickens living here. So that's cool. But yeah, here are the fishing rods. And you can just do go fishing whenever. And they're enchanted too. Because we're cool like that. I don't even know how enchantments work. I just I just put stuff on it. And those are the 100 houses. Um, here's a little overview of how it looks going backwards. And yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, I, it's just me walking, showing you. Just showing you. More showing you. Just more showing you. Um, okay, we're skipping to the end. And that's it. Thank you for 100 subscribers. Um, if you want your name next to one of the houses, comment and I'll put a sign. I was going to do it originally originally with my uh, public subscribers, but I don't know if they're comfortable with it. Scrappy just, he just yawned. And yeah, um, tell me what else you want to see. He just, he just slapped me. It's fine. And yeah, uh, see you next week because I will not be posting twice this week or probably soon because school wants to, wants, my school. Yeah. Thank you again. Bye.